is Rachel Armstrong. I'm an interdisciplinary practitioner and um, you know, my, my background spans um, science, arts and technology and I was immensely proud to be a fly on the wall today. My job was to um, spend some time with some incredibly cool students, um, all of whom are digital natives and um, Klaus has just told you a little bit about their demographics have come from all over Holland. Um, they themselves are very interdisciplinary um, and uh, extremely entrepreneurial and um, right from the outset of the program today, from the workshop, uh, the students were able to socially network and identify within groups. Each of them were given uh, an identifying band and they were able to find like-minded or different-minded uh, students you know, within, their, within their groups. And so from, from their group characteristics then, they split up into these workshops and um, I did my best to attend as many as I could of these. I mean, it was an extremely varied, rich, uh, and um, stimulating experience. And I managed to hook into the uh, 2012 Architects and the Impact Festival 2.0. Um, all the others, uh, we, we've just had a presentation in uh, the, the adjacent um, hall, and they've all been extremely uh, uh, amazing. So I'll just go through a, a couple of the projects. Um, the 2012 Architects um, came up with a greenwash project. Essentially it's a kind of eBay for industrial waste. Um, essentially the, the um, uh, factories and uh, businesses um, in, in an area can literally uh, uh, look each other up and find out what excess um, products they're making, like heat energy for example, um, which was speculated to um, provide energy to heat shrimp farms um, so that the shrimps could be kept nice and warm through industrial heat wa uh, waste. So, so the, the Greenwater project itself was a software-based project which was a, a, a database um, that allowed um, confidentially, first of all, uh, industry partners to look up resources um, from their neighbours or further, um, depending on what kind of supply and demand it was, um, and also their geographical locations or the materials that they wanted to recycle. And um, in this particular workshop, they, uh, the students broke out into uh, specialist areas simply because of the uh, kind of huge scope of this uh, city with recycled organs that they were trying to create a big, big network of resources. Um, so they split up into interaction design, interface aesthetics and software design. Um, and uh, it really was a, a truly amazing piece of work um, and, and very inspiring and, and something that I think really could um, be taken forward commercially. Um, the other one was the Impact Festival. There was two sessions about you know, how interaction design could uh, you know, be, a, be enabled in the here and now and then a more longer term uh, uh, projection. Um, the one that I sat in on was the um, here and now. And so Impact is a, a four day festival of media, movies and music. Um, and the idea was to increase um, social interaction using um, technologies. Um, essentially, the, these groups are actually interdisciplinary from the outset, so we had the interaction designers together with software programmers, together with the artists, all in the, um, all in the same group, first of all. Um, and as, as the conversations unfolded, you know, there was um, active skill, uh, setting, uh, skill set mixing and matching by the organisers. Um, and and, and the, the project that they came up, um, was, uh, up with was a, an interactive uh, mood wristband that changed the colour of the social spaces they were engaged in, which also had kind of other um, social media impact um, and was all very uh, intricate um, but incredibly um, uh, visionary in, in terms of its um, scope. So essentially, in terms of the workshops that I attended, you know, the, the, the process was, you know, it was in, in, innately interdisciplinary. Um, it was very flexible. You know, the students really did um, talk to each other, were able to communicate on a, on a very fundamental um, level that, you know, they shared this kind of common interest in, in, in the project and they worked together under extreme time constraints to solve these problems. Everybody came up with some kind of solution and have just presented them, as I said. And, and the conversations themselves were extremely enriching, both for the uh, participants and for the organisers. And there 
there was a great knowledge transfer of ideas, skills and concepts um, with very innovative and provocative outcomes. And so for, for everyone all around, uh, I, would, I would say, um, you know, interdisciplinary collaboration, you know, is, is, is an amazing resource to have, you know, within the context of um, a pro project um, and, you know, the tool skills that you might need to um, resource it with. Um, and that you're able to kind of think across multiple platforms to find these solutions, um, with, which results in wide varieties of, uh, of outcomes and very innovative and original solutions. So I'd, I'd commend all the um, top 100 today, amazing students, and it was absolutely uh, fabulous to be flying the wall. Thank you.